Greetings of the day folks, today we are going to discuss about Dacryoadenitis. Dacryoadenitis is the inflammation of the lacrimal gland and can be it can be acute or chronic. So chronic dacryoadenitis is caused by non-infectious inflammatory diseases such as Zogren syndrome, sarcoidosis or thyroid diseases. In case of acute dacryoadenitis, Mostly the causes will be infectious because it's seen in children and it is because of eye picking, eye, nose picking and also like touching the eyes and because of that yeah, there will be infection of the lacrimal gland. So mostly acute will be infectious, chronic will be uh, sovereign sarcoid or thyroid disease. So in both acute or chronic child, the children will have a soft tissue swelling and especially in the region of the lateral upper eyelid. Okay. So with the infectious causes, the systemic symptoms may, may include malaise and fever, okay. And uh, viral dacryoadenitis causes less intense discomfort and erythema than bacterial. So because the viral inflammation will, won't be some exudative, so it will cause less intense discomfort and erythema compared to bacterial. So in viral, Normally, we, uh, the organisms that cause the dacryoadenitis will be EBV, that is Epstein-Barr virus, mumps virus, Coxsackie virus, cytomegalovirus, varicella, zoster virus. Okay. So, in case of bacterial, which are associated with intense eye discomfort, tenderness, and erythema, the most common cause include staph aureus, strep. Then the Neisseria gonorrhea, Chlamydia trachomaris, Brucella melisensis. They have also been implicated. So, in case of if you suspect bacterial dacryoadenitis, the treatment will be first either oral or parenteral based on the severity. Okay. So, for mild infection, oral first generation cephalosporins like cephalexin, 25 milligrams per kg per oral every six hours until the infection has resolved is appropriate. If the if you suspect methicillin resistant staph aureus, then sulfur methoxazole or and trimethoprim combination that is 10 mg per kg per oral or IV every 12th hourly or a linus wallet a 10 mg per kg per oral or IV every 12th 12, 12 hourly may be used. For more severe infections Parenteral th antibiotic therapy is indicated. Nafcillin, 37.5 mg per kg IV every 6 hours is appropriate when methicillin resistant staph aureus is not suspected. Vancomycin, 10 to 13 mg per kg IV every 6 to 8 hours is indicated for severe dacry dacryoadenitis caused by methicillin resistant staph aureus. Okay. So this completes the DAC cryoadenitis. Now let's uh, take a small, quick review about blepharitis. Now the blepharitis means inflammation of eyelid that may present with eye redness, tearing, photophobia, crusting of eyelid margins, and uh, swelling, pruritus. So anterior blepharitis is usually infectious in nature. And mostly it is caused by staphylococci and presents with crusting and debris around the base of the eyelashes and red irritated skin may be seen. Posterior blepharitis <clears throat> affects the conjunctival, conjunctival surface of the eyelid usually due to meibomian gland dysfunction and presents with inflammation of the posterior lid margin and eye irritation. Both types of blepharitis are treated with warm compressors and baby shampoo scrubs once to twice daily. We should have caregivers apply shampoo to a wash cloth and then gently scrub the eyelids of the baby. So this should be continued until symptoms have resolved completely and you, which usually require prolonged treatment. In addition, staphylococcal blepharitis should be treated with erythromycin or bacitracin polymyxin ointment one to three times a day for seven days with the length of treatment depending on the severity. Thank you guys. Have a nice day.